Uh, question two. So a student investigated how the resistance of a piece of nichrome wire varies with length. Figure one shows part of the circuit the student used. So we've got a battery, a switch, a variable resistor and the piece of wire, all in a series circuit. And we'll just start this off by uh, completing question 2a before we get into the six marker here. Complete figure one by adding an ammeter and a voltmeter. So an ammeter must go in series and it really doesn't matter where in the circuit you place this. So let's place it just here. It's going to be a capital A inside a circle like that. And you need a voltmeter and the voltmeter must go in parallel with the thing that you're measuring, which is the wire. So we'll add that in like that. You've got your symbols right, you've got the locations right, so that's your three marks. Describe how the student would obtain data needed for the investigation. Your answer should include a risk assessment for one hazard in the investigation. So you want a risk assessment, but only for one hazard. And how would they obtain the data? All right, well, let's try and think some of these things through. What are they doing? Um, they're going to investigate how the resistance of a piece of wire varies with length. Well, you've got current and potential difference being measured. You haven't got resistance being measured. So we need some link to between those two. So let's put some ideas down. I think we're going to need Ohm's law because that links these two ideas together. And when hopefully we know that R equals V divided by I, and we know that the units for resistance are ohms, and we can abbreviate that using the symbol omega. So we're going to measure these two things, substitute them into the equation, that'll give us the resistance, so that'll give us the, ver the value for the resistance. What else do we need to do? Oh, we need to change the length. Okay, so if we're going to be measuring the length, we're going to need to uh, we're going to need to use something to measure it with. So let's use a meter rule. And let's think about, let's just be as precise as we can. So let's say that it's got one millimeter divisions. So this is all about resistance. Ohm's law, ohms, length, meter rule, one millimeter divisions. Well, what else is there? That's the data. Oh, what about a hazard? So this is a pretty safe investigation. There's nothing terrible going to happen here, except for when the wire gets short, then what happens is we get a lot of current flowing through it because the resistance is low and that means the wire can get very hot. So let's think. A risk assessment so what's the hazard so the hazard equal a hot wire and what's the consequence of that well that could that could cause a burn and what are we going to do to minimize that risk well we're going to be aware of it and we're going to not touch the wire and maybe we're going to only switch the circuit on whilst we take measurements And what happens if we get a burn? Well, if we get a burn, and we're going to put our finger under a stream of cold water. All right, so we've probably got enough there to be going on with and to get our six marks. So let's just remind ourselves, describe how the student would obtain the data needed for the investigation and then your answer should include a risk assessment for one hazard in the investigation. All right, so let's try and pull this together. So what would the student do? So starting 
with one meter of wire measured using a meter rule the student should measure the potential difference using the voltmeter and the current using the ammeter he should then calculate the resistance using Ohm's law R equals V divided by I the length of wire the length of wire should be reduced by let's say five centimeters and the measurements repeated the whole experiment should be repeated two times and average resistances calculated one hazard would be a hot wire which could cause burns to minimize the risk the circuit should only be switched on for brief periods whilst the measurements are made. <laughs>